again. Mm. Wow. Am I in the right house? Oh, you're in the right house. That smells so good. It's just a little something that I whipped up. I mean, I figured that since you've been living in a motel and everything, that you probably wanted a meal that didn't come out of a vending machine. Was I right? Have a seat. Yes. Yeah. Very thoughtful. Well, then let's get this party started. Let's do it right. A little bit of wine. Mm. One for you. Mm. One for me. A little more for me. Mm. All right. Landlord, mm -hmm. bodyguard, chef. Either you're too good to be true or there's a catch. Oh, I'm true. But there is a catch. You see, now that we're roommates and everything, mm. it's time that we lay down a couple of the ground rules. Rule number one, and this one's a deal breaker, so. Okay. I cooked, so you gotta clean. And it looks like I dirtied every single pot in the house, so you got some cleaning to do. No. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to get your life back together, you have to move. So move. <sighs> oh, well, that's more like it. Today the finger, tomorrow the world. Hey. Hi. Hello. Um, everything's great at the lighthouse. I, th I think we've um, gotten everything set up for you. Lamps installed, nurses, meds all there. Great. Sounds like you thought of everything. I hope so. We just really want you to be comfortable. Um, so anything, uh, any change at all? Uh, no. No, nothing at all. I'm ready to go home. Why are you stopping? Just keep your eyes closed, my love. Just put yourself in my hands. Relax. And just... Just what? What else could you possibly do? Well... If you need anything at all, I, I hope you will call us anytime, night or day. Thanks, but I won't be. I mean, it's not that I don't appreciate everything you've done. It's just that I need to start doing things on my own. Right. Um, so, I guess this is goodbye then. This is never going to stop being awkward, is it? No, 
But thanks for everything you've done. Hey. Daddy, Daddy. Well, there's my little girl. What you got there? For you. Oh, that's Gemma. Anna, that's your favorite doll. Oh. Well, he won't be lonely. He, he won't be lonely. You're going to be able to call him and visit him anytime you want, sweet pea. I'll drive you to the lighthouse whenever you want. Okay. For you. Oh, honey. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. I'll get it. Okay, be real careful. Okay, her be careful, careful, honey. You don't want to hit your head. has a sharp edge. <sighs> yeah, listen to mommy. You don't want... Daddy! <sighs> come here, come here. <sighs> your arm, you need your arm. Big money. We are partners with them in over a dozen fields worth millions of dollars. Be not gonna tell me what you're making? No, I'm not gonna tell you. It's a Come secret on. family recipe. Okay, look, if I after the thing, I gotta kill you. You know the deal with that. Come on, man. Oh, Just I'm give sorry. me a hint. I'm so dead serious. You don't even give know. me a hint. Nope. Like, would you have some patience? Stop, stop. Right. Have some patience, woman, okay? And you better like what I'm making, too, because if you don't, let's just say it's a good thing that we live behind the restaurant. Good plan. Mm-hmm. Come on, so let me slice dice, make you something. You let me help you. Chill. <laughs> okay? Just sit down, stay there, okay? You've been waiting on people hand and foot all day, all night, and tonight you're not gonna lift a finger. I thought all the good ones were taken. We're just stuck in the kitchen. <laughs> it's cool to see you smile. So your little pot thingy's boiling over. Oh, yeah, yeah. You have a, a way of uh, <coughs> distracting me. <laughs> well, I better let the cook concentrate. Right, right, right. Let me concentrate, because if you don't, then, uh, you know, this whole dinner thing, if I do a wrong move, it's going to turn into a bad science project. This reminds me of hanging out in my grandmother's kitchen. Yeah? Yeah. All the smells and laughter and... Pies cooling on the windowsill. The Sunday dinner at Medea's was like a little slice of heaven. She'd start cooking after church and it'd finish really late. God, we would get so stuffed. We'd have to just roll ourselves home. <laughs> if you don't go back for seconds, she gets her feelings hurt, and if you don't go back for thirds, she <laughs> really gets her pride hurt. And she seems like a real cool lady. You talk about her like she's still here. I guess she's still alive in my heart. Well, you know, I'm sorry. I know you don't like to talk about the past too much. What's the point? What matters is now. And I'm going to go take a hot shower right now. Because I have to go back to work later, if there's enough time before dinner. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you got time. Okay. No, you can't rush genius or anything like that, so... Of course, right, of course. Shower of away. Course. all right. I want to know everything about you, Mr. Mani. Even if you don't want to tell me. Okay, okay, I got here as soon as I could. I can hear and understand you on the phone, it's... though. What? It's Rafe. OK, OK, sit down, sit down, and tell me the whole story. Rafe found a direct line to Caleb's ring and where it came from. Uh, I thought the ring came from. Oh, no. No, tell me he didn't. I don't know. I don't know if he did or not, but he started saying all these words, and then there was this big fat flash of light, and then he was Ooh. gone. He just vanished. He tells us to be safe, and here he is taking a road trip to hell. But I think he was trying to protect us from that ring because he can do some really dangerous stuff, but I don't I don't know what to do now. I mean, Ray's yeah. gone to the dark side before, and he's made it back no, okay. No, this feels different. Well, you just have, to give, we just have to give him some time. Jack, what if there isn't any time? What if he doesn't have okay. any more time? Cool Calm down. You cannot work yourself into a panic. Well, you're not helping me right now. Well, if I had a magic word to bring him back, don't you think I would? Oh, yeah. Well, 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 where are you going? I'm sorry, but I have to go see someone. Oh, I don't like the sound of this. Look, there's only one person that can help me right now bring back Rafe, and that is Caleb. No, no, I'm not letting you throw yourself in front of him. Rafe is lost right now, and I don't know if I'm going to get him back. Now, come on. I need your help. You make it so hard to keep my hands off you. I was right there with you. We were so connected. These are the moments I live for. 
when we make sense together, when you make me feel like the whole world is mine for the taking. Ours for the taking. Isn't that the way it's supposed to be? I just, sometimes I get so jealous and insecure. I feel like there's something inside of me that I was a little bit lost. But in these moments, you feel my love, don't you? You feel my devotion. You do. As you were devoted to me, right? I want to hold on to this moment forever. It's the way it always should be. No lies. No deception. Right there, right there. Yeah. You're making progress. I got Christina all settled in. Is she, is she all right? I, I didn't mean to frighten her. She's fine. She was just a little scared. I don't think she understood what happened to her daddy. I tried to say maybe it was like pins and needles in your arm, kind of like when her foot falls asleep oh, in bed. Oh, the pain you're feeling is nerve regeneration, I know that. And pins and needles is a pretty good description of it. Yeah, except it felt more like butter saws and pickaxes. I, I wonder why it happened so suddenly. I mean, maybe it was all those energy massages I gave you or the herbal tea I get. I made enough herbal tea to... Or maybe it was rest and medication. Who knows, right? Or maybe it was a combination of everything along with the physical therapy. I mean, it's not that the massages weren't good. They were, but it'll be good to have a physical therapist to put me through a rigorous workout every day. He's going to come see you twice a week. Oh, great. Thank you. And especially thank you for everything that you've been doing here. And I know what you have to deal with on a daily basis. You know, did I say something now? What is it? What, what? Have to do with the situation every day? What? Well, it's just the three of us here. I didn't know that your situation was a forbidden subject. I mean, it's a fact. I, I think it was Christina. The reason you could move your arm like that is because you didn't want her to hurt herself, and so I think it was Christina that helped you. Yeah, and I'd be lying if I said I wasn't going to miss her, but I think it's time I get on with doing things on my own. Besides, you have enough to deal with between the girls and Ian. And his situation, right? Look, if you're trying to pick a fight with me, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. Well, I don't think now is the time to do any of this, okay? <clears throat> Just gotta get some fresh air, okay? Excuse me. She used to live with a vampire. Hmm. So, uh, what do you want to do? You want to go beat him up? Come on. Beating him. That's not what I'm worried about. It's I'm just going to cool off a little bit, okay? Please. Okay. But please, for the record, I will never, ever let him come between us, no matter where he's living. your granddaughter hiding with the hmm? How am I supposed to protect you if I don't know what's really going on? Answer me that.
was expecting to find you, Manny, but this sure isn't it. What kind of trouble you into? Ian is right about you, you know. About what? About what you're trying to do, pushing all his buttons, reminding him of what, his, his situation. You know, you had a situation for at least a year. Do you need me to hold a mirror in front of your face so you can be reminded of everything you did? No, wait a minute. I don't have to do that because I lived through personally every single horrible thing you did, so I don't need any reminding, and you don't either, and you know it. Well, that's fair. I behaved terribly. And I have no idea what turned things around, but whatever my behavior, it was treatable. Tell me, Lucy, how do you treat Ian? How do you fix a vampire? You control this. Don't let him get to you. You control. You control. I fix Ian by loving him with everything I have and by understanding what torments him. Fine, I get that. And I'm not saying this is his fault, but it is a fact of life, Lucy. And because you and I share a child together, you need to hear my side of it. Oh, I know your side of it. No, not all of it. Look, I don't like the man. That's a given. But I do admire his struggle. He helped save my life, and I'm grateful for that. But he's a vampire, Lucy. He needs human blood to survive an eternal life. And now he's in this house playing daddy to my daughter, and I'm stuck in this thing and barely able to move. So, yes, I'm concerned. I'm more than concerned. What? What are you so concerned about? Do you really believe that Ian's gonna bite all of us, somehow turn us all into a family of vampires? He is in control, and Ian would sooner die than do any of that. And therein lies the problem. Because he can't die. He can only be destroyed by people like you. You do not understand what you're saying. I know exactly what I'm saying. So I have to, I have to count on you to keep Christina safe from that monster that you've let into her life. <sighs> Sometimes I do things. We all do things that may seem a little bit selfish on the surface, but really, Caleb, I do what's best for us. Such as? I don't know. Stretch the truth a little. A little maybe? deception, maybe. No, no. No, not really. Sweetheart, is there something you want to tell me? Whoever it is, they'll go away. What if they don't? Oh, I don't care. Do you? What if it's an emergency? for scenes from the next Port Charles, The Gift. Go back to another time when SoapNet gives you another chance to experience another world. Jump into another world weekdays at 11 a.m., 5 p.m., or at midnight. SoapNet, pure soap 24-7, the new way to watch soaps.